There's Emily. There's me. We're at the West Haven train station. Getting ready to go to the Big Apple for the first time in two years together. Yeah, we didn't, we couldn't even remember what exit to get off of. It's been so long. Yeah. But we made it. We made it. So here, we're going to go out to the track and wait. We're taking the 810. Chris should still be in bed at this point. Emily is a morning person. I mean, Chris is not. <laughs> She's being a good sport. <laughs> so it's a great day. Beautiful morning. And thunderstorms are predicted for later today, so we'll see. In America, they say watch the gap instead of mind the gap. What do you prefer? I like mind the gap. I do too. Mind the gap. It sounds more poetic. Watch the so gap. This says eight. I'm sorry. Oh. Eight fifteen to ten twelve. We're, we might be able to catch an earlier train here. So Emily's just seeing though how long of a ride it is because some of them are much longer than others because they have more stops. Mm -hmm. Oh, here comes the train. I don't know. There is no 815 at there. We travel by e ticket. Where's Emily's ticket is active. Woohoo! Chris better get her to Grand Central.
It's in Ellen. So this is Grand Central. I don't know if you can hear this, but the last time Emily and I were here, this building wasn't finished. And now it's obviously finished and they have this wonderful courtyard. So things have definitely changed in the last two years. saying she's reading the children's bible yes who wrote that do you remember willett millet no Mill okay millet, millet. Yeah. lydia millet okay nice yeah and emily what are you reading mod martha by gwendolyn brooks how are you liking it so far i love it nice really good i got about halfway through on the train ride down <laughs> hope to finish the rest if i can keep my eyes open on the train ride back <laughs> very cool <laughs> i finished it it was very good i got uh, me too really enjoyed it yeah so now we're going to go inside and renew our library cards. Good to be back. Never heard of Mercy. Yeah. Oh, cool. This would not be too old if it had one. Oh, Charlie Brooks. Oh, yeah. Cool puzzle. This is a community, community puzzle. puzzle. Yeah. Ooh. Very cool. Huh. Oh, gone with the wind. It's fun to be funny.
Which one are you guys talking about? Mecca. Oh, I just okay. didn't like the whole police presence. It, it just didn't do it for me either. That's interesting. I just thought maybe I was reading at the wrong time. I thought that too, and I put it on my own. I'll try it again later. Okay, so there's three copies this. of this book, and there's three of us. <laughs> so we're thinking. Should I read the back? Yeah, read the blurb, please. Best known for his novel, The Scarlet Letter, Nathaniel Hawthorne was burdened by familial shame, which began with his great-great-grandfather, John Hawthorne, the infamously unrepentant Salem witch trial judge. In this, the eighth standalone book in the American novel series, we witness Hawthorne writing a tale entitled Tooth of the Covenant, in which he sends his fictional surrogate, Isaac Page, back to the year 1692 to save Bridget Bishop, the first person executed for witchcraft, and rescue the other victims from execution. But when Page puts ha on Hawthorne's spectacles, his worldview is transformed and he loses his resolve. As he battles his conscience, he finds that it is his own life hanging in the balance. Dun, dun, dun. Whew. An ingenious and profound investigation into the very notion of universal truth and morality, Tooth of the Covenant probes storytelling steps to raise history's dead and assuage the persistent ghost of guilt. So what do you think? Should we read it? Yes. <laughs> what do you think, Ellen? Why not? <laughs> it's short. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've been in New York for like 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and we've been to two libraries, yeah. so it's a good day so far. <laughs> we, we have renewed library cards, so yeah. actually, you know, we could just get on the train and go home now. <laughs> Satisfied. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> now we're heading to the Morgan Library to see the Gwendolyn Brooks exhibit, so yeah. more to come. Thank you.